Hey Green Sock Pals, thanks for checking out the new release. In this video I'm going to give you a quick walk through the new percentage based position parameter. The position parameter is key to creating finely tuned animations. It allows us to control the start time of tweens, labels, callbacks and even other nested timelines. So if we take a look here, we've got a little interface set up. We've got two tweens positioned on a timeline. Each of them have a duration of one second and they're going to play back to back because they don't have position parameters defined. So if we were to change the duration of the heart tween, the start time of the sock tween would also change. This is great because it makes your animation code nice and easy to adjust. However, sometimes you don't want your tweens to play one after another. You may want them to have a gap or an overlap. So say we want the sock tween to overlap by half of its own duration have to do a little bit of maths in our head first. Half of its one second duration is 0 0.5 seconds. And then we can use a relative position by using the minus equals notation. So this is saying start 0 0.5 seconds earlier than you usually would. But if we were to change the duration of the sock tween, this would no longer be the case. So in order to position this correctly, we'd need to update the position parameter again. This could get really annoying if you were updating a lot of things. So this is where the new percentage based position parameter comes in. Rather than a time in seconds, we can overlap by a percentage value. So the minus equal notation is saying overlap by 50% of the inserted tweens duration. So in this case, that's our sock tween. And this also takes repeats and yo-yos into account. So if we were to add a repeat and a yo-yo, let's just change this time here. So we can see that this is overlapping and also taking the repeat and yo-yo into account. We can also use the greater than and less than symbols to change the reference point from the timeline to the most recently added animation. So in this case, that's our heart tween. So this is like saying use the start of the previous tween as the reference point and overlap by half of my own duration. So we can see that the sock tween has overlapped by half of its own duration and it's actually playing before the heart tween now. So another use case that I find myself needing a lot is to position a tween in relation to the previous tween's duration. So if we remove the minus equal notation and just use the pointer, the offset is based on the percentage of the most recently added animation instead. So this is starting halfway through the heart tween. So we can say start 25% of the way through the heart tween. Or 75% of the way through the heart tween. And now if we change the duration of the heart tween, our second tween stays exactly where we want it. Now this is especially handy when you're working with unknowns like random durations. So if we were to add a random duration in here between one and five, we can see that this tween is always positioned exactly where we want it. This is a small addition, but it's a powerful one. Make sure to check out the position parameter docs for more information and an interactive example to play with. That's all from me for now. Enjoy your newly enhanced superpowers. Happy tweening.